Hi, Swim Chons. Go back to our channel. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And, and together, together we, we are Mad Curls. And welcome to another Mad Curls review and tutorial. Mm -hmm. As you would have seen by the title, you will see what we are doing today. And we are particularly excited about this review today. Mom, what are we doing? Today we're doing Honey's Handmade Melba's Kitchen Collection 2. Edition number two. We did their first collection last year was edition one. We'll link that video down below. And that collection went so well that they decided to bring it back for edition two, giving us more soul food because that is the theme of um, this whole collection. It's an honor. Yes of the owner's late mother and it's all about soul food soul food yeah <laughs> <laughs> so cute yeah and so there's um they rolled out 10 brand new products mm -hmm. for full size full size yes for the second edition and um we are here to review them for you guys mm -hmm. today to showcase the entire line mm -hmm. sans one <laughs> yes we're missing one we're missing one product but we'll right. still talk about that product because exactly. when you get your collection you will be getting all 10 of these all 10 okay. of the products so um should we go through so how this video is going to go is we're going to go through all 10 mm -hmm. products we're going to tell you the name of the products and the key ingredient and key benefit of the product um if you want to read more about the product you can go on the honey's handmade website and it gives you the whole backstory on how she came up with that particular product mm -hmm. and how it relates to soul food and all of that every single one has a backstory and they're all cute so yeah. um Definitely go check that out. And then after we are done with that, we are going to throw some products in our hair. Yes. And do all of that. Okay. All right. So should we get started? Why not? All right. Should we start with the cleanser? Okay. That's always the okay. way that we go. There's so two cleansers. There's two cleansers mm -hmm. this year. And starting with this one, we have Melba Sweet Pea and Spirulina. Spirulina. We, I checked the, um, the pronunciation before we got on. <laughs> okay. So it's Spirulina. Um, low pool conditioning co-wash cleanser. Mm -hmm. So for that, the Spirulina, it prevents hair loss and agave is another key ingredient in here and that gives you a moisture boost. So you used this product today. I did. Think? I liked it. You did? I really liked okay. it. Yes, it, it is definitely, we know it actually on one side it was low poo and then on the, you see, it, like it, it kind of lathered on one side. On the other side, it did, I think, let me see, what did I have in my hair when I first started? Because there was something that was preventing that lather almost. Oh, of... um, we use, there's, there's another product in right. here that we're getting ready to get to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So one side kind of like didn't and the other side did for some reason. But anyway, it is definitely kind of like a low pool and I like low pools. They're not quite co-washes. They're not quite full lather shampoos, mm -hmm. but there is a low pool. So it is low pool. Okay. And, um, though Next. it went in kind of like a co wash. Okay, did it yeah. have slip? Yeah, it did have slip. Okay. Definitely did cool. have slip, and it smells great. Okay. So then the other cleanser. The other cleanser is a shampoo bar, mm -hmm. and this is Melba's Light Beer and Ale Honey Lather Hand Poured Poo Bar. Okay. And okay. the two key ingredients in here um, there's beer which aids in hair growth and makes your hair stronger and honey, which locks in moisture and like revives your texture. So I tried the shampoo par, shampoo par, shampoo bar. I've always wanted to try a shampoo bar and I just haven't. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this because I had the beer and then it had the honey. I was like, let me give it a go. I absolutely love this. Um, I really love it. I could see myself using it again and again. My hair felt great and I wasn't really sure how I was supposed to go. At first I was kind of like rubbing it in my hands and going like this. Yeah, I was going to ask you, how'd you do that? I took the bar and just started rubbing it around my edges and I flipped over went like this and then I just like worked the lather like all throughout my hair and okay. when I rinsed it out my hair definitely felt um stronger it felt thicker it was it was nice but I felt the moisture it wasn't dry um probably because of the honey so I really enjoyed this bar okay this is amazing all right all right so we probably should have mentioned this one first since you're supposed right. to go in with this next product yes. before you actually cleanse your hair yeah, this is kind of like this the first is... step if you're going to do a complete honey's handmade like wash day yeah so this would be the first step this product is extremely interesting to me um to both of us actually mm -hmm. we reached out to make sure that we receive the correct product and um and how to use it so this is melba's detoxifying buttermilk stone grit scalp scrub and it is definitely like grit you can hear yeah like the the stones in there kind so of. it's made with coarse sea salt mm -hmm. and the owner found that these bigger rocks they're these bigger like sea salt granules they're they're big um they exfoliated the scalp better than finer salt and it said hot water will dissolve them which mm -hmm. i found to be true we both used yes, it today we um, you went first because mm -hmm. i wanted to see like how, did, how would it do on shorter hair and then i went with the longer hair right um to be honest since we're doing an honest review like we always do right. um this is probably our least favorite product out of all the mm -hmm. products um here today i didn't find that the the 
the grit the what are they granules the, the salt it yeah. wasn't staying in my hair even after i sectioned it was just like falling out of my hair and then it felt weird like stepping on it in the shower it just yeah i don't know i couldn't find that it was staying in my hair for me to be able to exfoliate anything my hair at all shorter and denser and um i don't how much does this go for i don't know how much it goes for but to to get it out of this packaging okay you like you're gonna feel like you're gonna start losing things and then you have to kind of like get it from here and into your head and so it's dripping down and it's sitting on my shoulders so that was kind of weird and so then i started like sectioning like like almost like baby sections just to almost like smack some in that section and then really kind of rub it in it definitely does dissolve somehow some way mm -hmm. i don't know because you're not really seeing it dissolve you're still feeling those uh that that coarse salt However, it does dissolve, and by the end of the whole um, wash and go thing, or not the, the, not the go part, but the wash. The cleansing part. Yeah, somehow, yeah. some way, um, they did come out. Though when I was rinsing out the bathtub, I did see some of it still there. Yeah. So, but the majority of it did melt. I still struggle with um, using it, though. I just kind of don't really understand. I hope I'm using it. I hope it's the right product. It just... It's the oddest thing. Like, just, I've never seen anything like huge. it. It's huge. The, the core seen, salt's really big. I've never seen anything like it. So I don't know. Like if it. you're getting the collection, you know, you come back to this video, comment down below how you did with this product because you're yeah. getting it. So, yeah, you're getting all 10 of these products. The box is $65. Mm -hmm. So they're not sold individually. You're getting this whole entire collection, 10 products, and it's being sold for $65. Right. Yeah. Um, limited edition. So get it while you can. Right. It may already be sold out. Not sure. But yeah. um, check the website. Yeah. So, yeah. So you will be getting that in there. So it's, it's interesting. Interesting. If you yeah. like trying new things and experimenting and it's natural, then, you know, you might have fun with it Yeah. and figure out a way to do it. Um, we just, I never did, but you know, I've never been the brightest bulb in the box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Moving on to the masks. Yes. Starting with the masks. I was excited to use this one tried. because last year I love the sweet potato co-wash. Love it. Still love it. Still have, still use it. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that they made that one um, permanent last year. So this year, the sweet potato addition is Melba's Sweet Potato and Turmeric Healthy Scalp Hair Mask. Mm -hmm. And turmeric, I'm really into kind of for brightening for the face and all mm -hmm. that. So I love turmeric. And it's yellow, just like turmeric is. Oh, that product is yellow. It is yellow. So the sweet potato, um, the key ingredients are sweet potato mm -hmm. and turmeric. Mm -hmm. yes. The sweet potato combats dry hair. There's vitamin A, um, and it boosts your nat uh, natural oils in your hair. Mm -hmm. And then the turmeric is anti-inflammatory, um, it has anti-inflammatory properties in it, purifies the scalp, and helps reduce dandruff right. in your hair. Okay. So, so you use that one today. It went through my hair great. Mm -hmm. Does it have the most slip in the world? No, but it did go through. Um, I think, and you asked me at the time, you're like, are you tangling your hair? When I was trying to get those... Um, when you were using manuals, manuals yeah, you got to see like a, like a nest here. Like, like I was frizzing, though it didn't matter because I was still in the process of washing my hair. So that definitely would have... Um, uh, stopped but it's kind of like i was making like a halo of frizz trying to get though that salt in there mm -hmm. so that should probably should be a video that should be made by honey's handmade to show exactly how it should be done the the efficiency of how it should yeah. be done because i've never we've never seen a product like no. that so it could probably use its own shine like this right kind of never before seen kind of scrub yeah. and this here's is how, how you, you do, do it, it. right yeah, kind because of i definitely didn't get it and so um because it was kind of like so like bird's nest tangled, um, I probably would have needed a, a deep conditioner or a conditioner of some sort with a little bit more slip in it. Because mm -hmm. by this point, my hair was just a tangled web weave. weave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The same person. The next mask, which yes. is the one I use. This is Mel uh, Melba's Omega-3 and Fatty Acid Shaft Deep Penetrating Hair Mask. I loved this. Okay. This was great. So the omega-3 um, has anti-inflammatory properties, promotes hair growth, mm -hmm. um, prevents dry, flaky scalp. So omega-3, um, this is kind of where like the, the seafood mm. kind of came in. Because when you think of like soul food, you think of like fried fish, that yes, kind of thing. So omega-3 yes. has like the fish oil. Right. And it smells really, really good. Because I like fish. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, it I'm, smells. Everybody knows like omega, omega yeah, three. Yeah, it smells. It's I like the way it smells. It's nice. Um, it mm -hmm. had slip. My hair felt amazing when I put it in and took it out. My curls are real, well. Yeah, it's got sort of my like, curls. Like, look, um, my curls are good. So like, I the, liked it. My hair's dry now, but yeah, no, it looks so good. cute. What is that minty kind of um smell on there? It, there's pistachio. See. Okay, there's something there, kind of like Grape when you open seed, it. Up. Rosemary. Um, <laughs> sesame olive fruit yeah there's something kind of like a um a like a minty kind of a smell to oh, it I, a oh bit, i get right? that you smell the little, yeah. little minty yeah so i don't know what that but i is, i but, really um, like this to try that i like this and i, I like that. that um it says it prevents um 
dry scalp. Okay. Dry flaky scalp because my scalp was dead. There was like some issues going on with my scalp there. So I'm like, this is a really good one to use because I'm kind of having issues with my scalp right now. Okay. All right. right next. Moving on to the stylers. Oops, when I'm with this smells fabulous. Oh my gosh, that pecan is a pecan. Pecan curl. Okay, Melba's butter pecan curl defining hair butter. Mm -hmm. And good oh my gosh it smells so good so the key ingredients and key benefits um there's um is it bakari bakari butter bakari mm -hmm. butter is in here okay. um which has fatty acids which make hair healthier adds moisture so shine and softness um to your hair and then pecan oil pecan pecan um <laughs> stimulates hair growth Okay. So, um, actually half my hair is done today because I'm going to be doing a braid out and I did mostly just use this butter and a little bit of another product yeah. we're going to show in a minute, but, um, this had great slip. It felt really nice in the hair and you'll be able to see me do this side when we start styling our hair. Yeah. Um, but I have dived into this product. Yeah, it's interesting that they use the word butter because butter to me would be like thick, Thicker. almost like, yeah. like lardy ish, you know, like how butters are, um, like almost when your hair is all dried and then you kind of put that in as a final touch, but it definitely is like a cream and it is a styler. So I'm glad that it's here i'm wondering if i'm going to use it with the apple curl glaze because mm -hmm. we don't have the leave-in so maybe yeah. i'll use this i hope it won't be too much so there's another cream in here um we accidentally got two of the, the pecans um we didn't get the the other one which is the melba's hair stuffing decadent daily moisturizer and in that is um oh we looked up this word is it sapote sapote um, well there's one ingredient in here which is rich in vitamin A, B, C, and E. Um, there's proteins, amino acids, fatty acids, and minerals, which I was like, this probably would have done amazing yes. for your hair, yes. but we don't have it. You're right. How do you pronounce it? Okay, so we pronounce it. Sapoti. Sapoti. So Sapoti oil. Okay. And it has all of that. Vitamins A, B, C, and E. Proteins, amino acids, fatty acids, minerals. So um, As a leave-in? Yeah. yeah. So we don't have that. Well, okay. it's a daily moisturizer. So we don't have that product. Um, the other styler that is here that we do have is the coconut and apple curl glaze. Mm -hmm. so, so, I, I say that all the time. I love. Well, they, yeah, they, they nailed it with the, with, with the scents here. Yeah, the they, 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 they always really do. They always tend to, yeah. to do that. So, so in here, and, you know, all right, I don't know if you've noticed. I've noticed this year. Do you guys notice yes. the the safety mm -hmm. of the um, keeping things, the ingredients in there? Yeah, and, and the way they came, they each had yes. like this plastic yes. wrap over yes. them, but it was like. Um, it's not like saran wrap. It's like wow. plastic. Yes. It was um, it kind of packaged like, really well. Exactly, kind of like like the way they would do it in a machine, like where it goes, like when it, like yeah, they suck all the air out. Like yeah, I like that this year. That was something different. Very secure, all the products. Because I know that was kind of like a conversation that people were reaching out to me, um, on Facebook last year about was it old was it new um why was it open it appeared i'm like i'm sure honey's handmade did not send you like used products but it, it looked like it was used products because it didn't have any sort of protective covering mm. but this year what i like is the lids yeah i like this the, there's the, an extra yeah, i like that bit of security and then not nice. to mention when you get it like they all like i said all sucked in yeah so um I, yeah hopefully like you guys will get it that way as well so in here um there is coconut butter which moisturizes hair adds volume replenishes your oils and strengthens and then the apple seed oil in here um has um b2 and biotin and that triggers hair growth okay um, so. um i asked was this cause last year i loved the um, the aloe water, the, yeah, that that gel. hydrating uh, gel, and it yeah. was um, non glycerin gel. So I liked that last year, and I wanted to know if this kind of was like the same thing. I believe that the gel became permanent last year. Mm -hmm. I love that a few things crossed over to permanent, but um, this year you said that this, this does have glycerin. This does it have glycerin, raw in glycerin in it. Glycerin in it, I believe. Right. In. Yeah, raw so, glycerin. Yeah. So for this time of year, there's no humidity really or anything. So you know, this would be good. I was thinking about a one and done, but I'm still not quite sure yet. So okay. we'll move on. All right, two more products that we need to talk about: the refresher. Okay. Which is this is Melba's Lemonade and Cucumber Curl Revival Mist Refresher. Mm -hmm. And so there's cucumber hydrosol in that, which promotes hair growth. Um, it contains silicon and sulfur, which both promote uh, healthy hair. Okay. So um, there's that. And then lastly, yeah, yeah, should I read this one? one? I know I can't see it. The Creamy Corn Silk Hair Serum. 
Um, the corn silk in here has proteins, vitamins, fiber, and adds bounce and shine to your hair. And there's angelica root, which contain, contains vitamin E and prevents hair loss. So a lot of that throughout this whole collection, a lot about promoting, promoting healthy hair, mm -hmm. hair growth, um, maintaining the growth that you're getting and right. the health of your hair, shine, yeah. moisture. So a lot of great ingredients that go into soul food that is also good for your hair, which yeah. is really cool. And All then, right. Yeah, the ingredients that they chose, like the lemonade, you know. Yeah, like, completely like, different than yes, last year. Yeah. So very cool. Okay. All right. So now we are going to style our hair. So if you want to see us dive into some of these products and use them in our hair, then please keep watching. Please keep watching. So first things first, water. water. So half my head is already done. I did two braids. I'm going to do two braids on this side. <laughs> So, see, my hair is starting to dry out a little bit. It's been hanging out while we uh, yeah. do our but makeup. My, I just squirted squirt my face. My hair um, was thick when I got out the um, bathroom today, so mm -hmm. the products must have done that something because um, it's definitely thickening up. And so since I'm doing a braid out and I want my hair to dry today, I don't want to use a whole lot of water and product. Yeah. It also will take a while to dry, but... I really hate putting two stylers on top of each other because I don't think my hair requires all that. Um, I kind of maybe just want to go in maybe with the glaze, but I feel like it needs some sort of moisture. So here is the pecan. Um... It's not thick, thick, but it's not like watery through your hands either. Mm -hmm. I like the consistency. Again. So you're um, layering them on top of each other? Um, yes, a little bit. I'm using more of the the cream than I am the glaze. Okay. The glaze is just to kind of hold maybe the top of my hair. I'm applying it on my edges. Okay. But I'm just kind of running it through. Definitely getting maybe. these ends. But see, like these immediately. Are, like, tight quarters, like. I know. I guess like. I keep right. backing up to give you space. Thanks, girl. Why does it look like the room's getting smaller? Or we just have more junk around here? Or maybe we're just getting bigger and bigger. Maybe, girl. Guys. Please, girl, don't speak it. Girl, okay. Speak it. <laughs> Guys. Oh, my gosh. Quarantine quarantine. Day 10. <laughs> quarantine. The snacks are gone. <laughs> I know, right? What are you guys doing for quarantine? Oh, guys. Um, Instagram. Those who have Instagram. There's a DJ on there. And um, he's giving back to the quarantine. They, at um, D Nice. At D Nice. Oh yeah. my gosh. Like people like around my age, like that old school music. Oh my gosh. I love it. And then he even has some like uh, yeah. new music and stuff. He's just, it's just fabulous. He DJs for like nine or 10 hours. Um, I kept hearing about it on Facebook. People were talking about it. And then finally I went over there to see. And we caught it today, but it was um, from. Like a replay. Yeah, like a replay. So he's coming on like right now. It's like what time? Um, right now it's, it is 5.05. .05. Okay, so yeah, he's so coming he's, on today. He's so he's live right now. So I'm but, now. Yeah, it's, I think it's the only place where you can party with celebrities. Because he just know. keeps stopping. He's like, oh, shout out to this person. Shout out to yeah. that person. Like When I read so. the article about it, um, they said that um, Michelle Obama was in the room. They said Ellen DeGeneres was in the room. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ludacris. I mean, anybody and everybody. And when we were on there. Taraji P. Henson. Yeah, I mean, there's Kelly just Rowland. so many people. Like, Wale. Like, um, Khloe Kardashian. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. He just keeps shouting out people. But it's sort of like a party. And I think you said, like, there was, like, at one point, there was, like, 100,000 people watching. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy. Yep. So when we, when we left music is good. to do that, it was, like, 15,000. Um, we, like, had to stop because we had to, we had to come on and start filming. But, um, yes, when I get stop off. Stop playing. <laughs> I know. When I get off here, I am definitely going back to yeah. see. So, like, I want to kind of, like, do, I like, like, the bigness and the fullness of my hair. I think I want to do the gel by itself. I'm going to take a chance to do that. I think it's going to work out good for me. You always get nervous. You always have like these expressions, yes. like don't and mess up. And people keep saying, up. saying in the in the comments, you don't use enough water, girl. So get down with the water. Okay, okay. They're like, where is Lori Ann's water? Um. <laughs> people want to know. know. So, what's your favorite kind of soul food, guys? I get excited around thanksgiving and christmas time because that's the only time i get soul food some people eat it every single day yeah like that's their um, sunday meal like yeah every sunday they do it they keep like those old school traditions and they seriously have a full as i would call a thanksgiving dinner on a on um on a sunday on a sunday every single 
Sunday. Or some people just on like a regular day. I'll just see people on Instagram just like making baked mac and cheese just because. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Like, I, love I just don't eat like that, thank gosh. And yeah. um, and it's a lot of work. I like, like It is a lot of work. I give so much respect to the older generation that seriously did that. I remember growing up spending that over my grandmother's house and going to church and looking forward to coming home from church. The plates. Yeah, it smells so good. My favorite, um, the plate soul food is mac and cheese, of course, the baked mac and mm -hmm. cheese and uh, collard greens. Collard greens, I will hoard the collard yeah, greens. Yeah, you definitely do around Thanksgiving. That's I make that. <laughs> like, I know, like, my grandmother in her older years, um, she's since passed on, but she started doing things a little bit more healthy. So she would do like a smoked chicken wing and, um, like chicken broth or whatever but if i'm gonna have greens like i want like old school we want that salt and pork. especially if like if you don't know really how to cook like i'm not i wouldn't say i'm the expert cook so i have to like kind of like really stick to old school recipes when you know how to cook you can really turn food into what it once tasted like with new ingredients i'm not that skilled so i can't i mean you do don't that. cook a lot but when you do cook you throw it down Aww. that's why i'm like it's thanksgiving oh, time. i'm like yes I know some you Thanksgivings, you're like, no, do you want to do the whole thing? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the only time. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so what you're seeing me doing is I really don't want to do too much. And I really don't want to layer, like, two products here on top. Like, they're both stylers to me, so I don't want to really do that. Um, so I'm trying to just add the water. And I understand that my hair might look a little dry now. And that's okay because it's going to be a different, nice fluffy wash and go. I know the look's going to be different and I'm okay with that. I'm, sh I'm showcasing my density these days because it took me a long time to get it back. Show it off, show it off. Some right. of us don't have density, <laughs> like me. <laughs> so yeah, um, and this product has like such great slip that it's just kind of like going through and I like that. I was um, dating someone a few years ago and we went to his house for uh for Christmas and I think it was his mom but she cooked is it yams mm -hmm. it's like yeah we, we never did yams like when no. you cook you don't do the yams no. but it was they were so good they had like maple or something on them it mm -hmm. was amazing I know yams is part of like the soul food yes. group as was that that sweet potato yams? yes is, yeah. it, is it sweet potato and yams the same, same thing I'm not sure. Should I we know, know this. Probably. We're going to get our black card removed. Probably. Should we know this? <laughs> um, I know when we were at Stu Leonard's, they had like two different sections. They're like yams and then, then they had sweet potatoes. Y'all let us know. Are yams and sweet potatoes the same thing? Right. <laughs> no. I feel like they are. Um, I don't think they quite are, though. Don't I they really look don't. alike? Um, of sorts. I think yams, when you cut them open, I think they're maybe white inside, I think. And then sweet potatoes are orange because, like, I'm thinking of the sweet potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, I love sweet potato pie. Okay, so you see, you lost me there. Um, you don't like sweet potato pie? No. But I'll eat so. sweet potatoes, but I don't like sweet potatoes. Yeah, you I, love, do. I have sweet potato fries in the refrigerator. Yeah, in the freezer. I'm sorry, in the freezer. Yeah, yes. I know. They are so good. But yeah, no. Can't do sweet potato pie, but I like that. Can't do that. Hope I'm not going to regret not putting in, um, the butter. Yeah, those look good. Yeah, I think they look good. They're gonna dry nice. They're gonna dry quick, and that's okay. okay so, this, so I'm not I'm gonna, gonna redo this. Sometimes with my braids, I didn't like borrow okay. enough hair. Yeah, you have to always like like layer like a whole lot of product all the time. But then once your hair is dry, you would have wished you would have layered yeah, something. Yeah, no, probably would have. But um, but I'm not going to today. Cause sometimes I go back to the way I used to before I knew any better. I didn't um know, and I would take a product in our first videos in the beginning of the channel and I would just do things and I would just notice how I put it in my hand and just slap it back and like <laughs> it was cute. It was a successful wash and go every time. So you have to know your hair. So I won't disappoint guys. <laughs> this is gonna come out fine. Honey's handmade is a black owned brand. Mm -hmm. Folks who want to know that info um and they're all natural handmade. Honey's handmade right. they, they hand make their products, um, yeah, they're, yes, they have a cute love team, and dedication. Team. Yeah. So last year for the first collection, they really did it up. They had a contest, mm -hmm. and you guys, if you're new, then you don't know. But mm -hmm. if you're OG, then you know that we were right on down there. You guys um, voted us in. Yeah, there was a contest we, going. That's how we found out about them. Mm -hmm. You guys just always talk about Honey's Handmade. Mm -hmm. Did you talk about it as well? 
Me? Yes. Or you? Like, um, we've done, oh. I had heard of it, but okay. not. But then we really. You guys always give us recommendations on what to use or whatever. So, you guys entered us into a contest. Next thing we knew, we were getting blowed up. Um, you know, we kept getting notifications, and we we're like, wait a minute here, like. We are seriously like getting into this contest. Like the people are serious. Mad Curls fam, seriously, we're voting us, and y'all voted us all the way to the top slot. We were number one, and we got flewed out, flewed, flewed, and we had a yeah, ball. It was so much fun we last had year. A ball. Thank God it happened last year, not this year. Nobody's getting flewed out anywhere this year. I don't year. know. We might have been staying at the pavilion, girl. <laughs> <laughs> We might have done our quarantine video, but can't right. go, can't leave. Sorry, can't go back and We've got to stay in the Florida house. <laughs> go check out that vlog. Vlog was fun. I know. Tate we were like pool. swimming at midnight. Mm -hmm. Me and Tay. Taking advantage of all the amenities. A lot of the, um, the good the girls. Food, the chef was everything. Yes. When we first got through that Ooh. night, that dinner, Ooh. that lobster. The food. Yeah. yeah. Some of the girls were from the Florida area, so they kind of just drove over mm -hmm. and... Um, so they went home. So it was yet me, Tay, at the pool, and um, the owner's friend was there was the, just, the like, night that we went swimming. It was a good time. It was a good time. I'm taking my time. I really probably need to get up and get a wide tooth comb that I never have here. But I think, okay. you know what? I think it's in the drawer. I need to just kind of pull the knot out at the end. So I want to do that. Okay. So um, I'm just right down here. But, um,. But yeah, so I decided to do a braid out today because I want it more of kind of like an elongated wash and go of sorts. It might be a little bit of a wash and go, a little bit of a braid out because I might take the braids out sooner than when they are completely dry. I just need them to be stretched again. My hair is going in and out of long and short <laughs> right now. <laughs> These my bangs still. So I don't know if it's going in and out. I was like, you know, let me try braiding them today oh my gosh my stomach just growled i wish i had some soul food wow. <laughs> but i love this theme i love it i love the color mm -hmm. it's so vibrant it's it so is. cute and we just have so much fun now that we're like like you know back in and we have really we started it before this quarantine and then we were so glad that we did because now we have something to do during yeah. the quarantine so um but cute. but it's but it's fun because i'm like oh my gosh like what fun like i even like my little Microfiber towel. I'm like, what color should I use today? I could choose from yellow or. Um... And then we're back with uh, with aesthetics. Yes. So I know some people always want to know about like glycerin, and I definitely probably would have inserted the um, the ingredients for all of these products as we were mentioning them. But the the pecan curl defining butter does not have glycerin or coconut in it. Um, no glycerin or coconut. Those are the, those are the, the uh... Windows are open. Weather's All getting right. nice. All right. Motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has Jamaican black castor in it, though. Does it? Yeah, so no. The main ones are always, does it have um, glycerin? Does it have coconut? So neither one of those are in. Okay. Here, the apple glaze. It's named coconut apples, right? Isn't yes. It? So it would have <laughs> coconut in it, right? And it does, and glycerin. So, but yeah, you guys would have seen the ingredients for uh, for all the products already. I switched up, like I said, like what I normally would do. I definitely probably would have put some sort of a leave in it, unless it's like a one and done, and mm -hmm. this is how I'm treating it. Um, so I'm taking my time pulling it through because um, it probably could have benefited from some sort of a, a leave-in definitely so i'm taking my time a leave-in would have been it would have made it slippery so now it's mm -hmm. just like my hair it's not glycerin free but it's acting kind of like it is so i always know glycerin free gels because it kind of has like that um that feeling that i that i like so it feels like it is but it's not but i since i don't have a leave-in underneath that i'm taking my time i'm not ripping out all my hair yeah because i chose not to put um something underneath of this <laughs> But I'm liking what I'm seeing here, so yeah. I'm not so bothered. we will let you finish up the top of your hair, okay? And we will be right back. All right. So you finished putting all the product in your I hair. Putting product. So what I decided to do, because once I put the gel in, I didn't want to keep using the gel. I kept using it as like it like as an end all and be all. Like I kept using it kind of as like a leave in and like a gel. It just I kept applying more product. I didn't want to do that. So I wet my hair again, almost to saturation. Um, still sitting here you know with the spray bottle just to make sure it was pretty damp and then i went in with this butter um this 
Melba's Butter Pecan Curl Defining Hair Butter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, initially I thought like, you know, two stylers and then you're like, mom, like since when did you care about us putting styler on top of styler? So I'm like, okay. So because it is a moisturizer, I mean, it's a, just a defining butter. And it did say to, where was the part that you said? Um, Yeah, so it says. Um, it says style with twist outs, braid, braid outs, outs, and use to coat your wash and go styling regimen. So this was my wash and go that I used with their gel. And when I put it on, you're like, uh oh, don't panic, don't panic. And I'm like, what? You're like, it's starting to have like white flakes everywhere. And so I moved up close. It did, kind of, when you put it on top of the gel, coating your wash and go, but don't panic. Just spray water mm -hmm. and it literally kind of like dissolves yeah so yeah so so i definitely saw the white flakes but um it obviously is compatible because it just came right out when you spray extra water mm -hmm. so that's a good thing to know so we are going to air dry our hair mm -hmm. and we will be back to show you guys these results you'll see the results of my braid out um i will be using the uh the corn silk to take my braids out okay the serum that comes in this collection and um we'll be able to see your washing go. okay all right so um we will see you guys soon all right bye. all right bye, bye. And, and we, we are, are back. back these are our results <laughs> i'm loving mine me me too i am loving mine it's a nice fluffy mm -hmm. braid out and you did a wash and go yours is a nice fluffy wash and go yeah <laughs> as i knew it would be mm -hmm. and one thing we didn't understand is like the gel, like I swear it felt like last year's gel, the glycerin free one, though it has glycerin in it. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's just exclusive to maybe the way Honey's handmade gels feel. Mm -hmm. You know, like how different brands, you could just kind of like tell their products. So I just like the way they do gels. Yeah. I really do. And so I could tell as it was drying that it was going to give me kind of like that, um, the wash and go that I get with glycerin free gels. And I really, really like it. Um, yeah, my hair feels moisturized. So maybe next time, maybe I would have to put that underneath the the butter underneath, but mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It worked. It worked itself out when yeah. I put it on top. So, so I like mine. It's fluffy. I'm glad yeah. I went with uh, yeah. with a braid out. So I really like it. I think mm -hmm. that it's a really cool collection, and the fact that you get ten products for sixty five dollars, I think is yeah. a really good deal. Yeah, that's so, a really good deal. And you have a full wash day here. Um, You'll have two creams. You'll have the the glaze, which is the gel. Two mm -hmm. different types of deep conditioners you can choose from. Yeah. Two different cleansers, a scalp yeah. scrub, a refresher spray, and oil. It's like, what more do you want? I know. So, it should keep you set for the lockdown. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So they are going to start shipping. March 31st was the original, or the original scheduled date. Mm -hmm. However, with everything so up in the air and changing, you know, I'm no control over Honey's Handmade. Um, you know, that's when they purported to start shipping. Mm -hmm. Now, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know if they've, they've said anything. Some companies have. I'm not sure if they're one of them. Right. But just give these companies some slack because right. um, a lot of stuff isn't shipping. I saw mm -hmm. one company, um, it was a makeup brand. Actually, they were like, you can still order them. You know, your order will be priority when we can start shipping again. And I was like... <laughs> When will that be? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you can still order like whatever, you know, eyeshadow you want to. And right. maybe in four months, you know, whenever we can start shipping again, yours will be first on the list. <laughs> it, must be a, it must be a human mindset that they just want to feel like they have something, like they got their hands on, even if they have to wait four to six months. Yeah. They just want to feel like they have, they, they it's you know. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. So, yeah, no, but. Mm -hmm. something people have any control over you know so it is what it is but um definitely go check out their website if you want to read more about these products and mm -hmm. all the cute stories behind each of the products yeah, is on their website so link will be in the description box mm -hmm. uh comment down below what you guys think of this wash and go go check out our honey's handmade edition one from last year if you want to see what they put out last year and you can yeah. see that wash and go we actually rewatched that video today and um our vlog from from when we went down there if you want to see the owner and kind of like her vibe we really mm -hmm. like the owner so yeah check out those videos i'll link those as well and uh comment down below if you're gonna ch if you've uh used this brand before if you're gonna check out this collection what you think of our wash and goes just yeah. say hi to hi. us to each other right i and, know um, i think that's it i think that might be it girl. all right so thank you so much for watching this video and we shall see you in our next video see you in our next video all right bye, bye.